What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I'm Benny with Plants Fitness and Friends and today I'm going to be showing you a little pancake and hash brown breakfast. This is not what I would consider a health food meal, although it probably is healthier than your normal um, animal product based pancakes. It's still not the healthiest meal. This is more of a meal you could do on maybe the weekends like Saturday or Sunday for like a weekly ritual. That's what Sarah and I like to do. So first I'm going to show you the potatoes because while these potatoes are drying after we shred them up, we're going to get to the pancakes and we're going to cook those. So. Here I have five rusted potatoes. You can definitely use whatever potatoes you want. Um, you can use red potatoes, you can use really anything. You also don't need to use five, you can use however many potatoes you want to eat that day or if you want to save some later on, um, which is probably what we're gonna do with these five potatoes. And then over here I have uh, this food processor that also has a shredder in it. You can use a non-electric shredder, just like a stand-up one that you'd use for anything else, like carrots and stuff like that. Um, it will take longer and it will be a little more strenuous, but still worth it in the end. And over here, I did want to show you guys, we also have these instant hash browns. These are for if you're in a pinch for time, or you really just don't want to spend all this time making potatoes. It really doesn't take that long, but it's definitely more of a strenuous process than just boiling some water, putting these potatoes in there, and getting the hash browns ready within like 20 minutes, whereas this might take a little longer. So whether or not you used a food processor to shred your potatoes or you used a hand shredder, you're going to need to rinse them as we just showed you. And once you've done that, you're going to want to take them out and squeeze out as much of the moisture as you can. And I'm going to be using, after squeezing a little bit here, I'm going to be using a nut milk bag. You could also use a cheesecloth or you don't even need to do this part. Just get out as much as you can with your fist. Uh, but this just helps it to be a little drier before putting it over there on the towel to get into the drying process. So, what I'm going to do here is just squeeze all the moisture out. And again, you can use a cheesecloth, you could use nothing. Once I've squeezed out the moisture, I'm going to bring them over here. I already had a towel set up, so you should set up a towel before doing this. And then you're just going to want to spread them out, put them down, pat them down. Try to get them evenly distributed on here. So now that all those shredded potatoes are rinsed and out to dry, we're going to leave them here for about 20 minutes at least while we take care of the pancakes. Alright guys, so we do have our pancake ingredients here. I'm going to start from this side, on which we have some gluten-free flour. Um, you can use regular flour if you want. I just have some problems with gluten sometimes. And also, I do think gluten-free flour is a little bit healthier. Um, but it definitely, if you want to use regular flour, there's no problem with that at all. We also have some almond milk here. You can use any nut milk or vegan milk you'd like. I usually would use soy milk. Uh, we don't have any soy milk right now, so I'm going to use almond milk. but. Soy milk does have a little bit more protein, and I like it more, but almond milk will definitely do just fine. Flaxseed for a flax egg, um, any flaxseed brand. 
We're gonna use this Smart Balance butter. This is vegan butter. We're gonna heat it up in the microwave to make some vegan oil. Um, we kind of like the flavor of this and whatever combination of oils they use to make it, but you really don't have to use Smart Balance butter. You can use regular oil, um, canola oil or olive oil, which olive oil has a little bit stronger of a flavor, but it would still be completely fine. Um, and then we have baking powder over here. Uh, any baking powder, of course, would do. Vanilla extract, you don't need vanilla extract, but it does add a little more complexity to the flavor. It obviously adds a little bit of vanilla flavor, so it makes the flavor profile a little more interesting. And then back here we do have a little bit of brown sugar. Again, this is another ingredient you don't need to use, but Sarah says it makes the pancakes taste better, so I'm down to use it as well. And in the front here, uh, you just saw Sarah pick some basil. We also have mint that we bought from the store, and we're gonna use this to make a nice compote topping. We're gonna put some frozen berries with some fresh maple syrup and these herbs. And it's actually really easy, even though compote sounds kind of like an intimidating thing. I thought so when I first made it, but it's really easy, really tasty, and especially on this recipe, it is so good. So I'm really excited to show you guys that. Um, and then on the other side here, we do have some add-ons. So these are things that you definitely don't need, but that I wanted to talk to you a little bit about. If you want to have protein pancakes, it's so easy. You just took, take something like pea protein, which the flavor is a little strong, but in pancakes, it pretty much disappears. Um, so I use here my vegan. This is from my protein. Um, I'm absolutely not sponsored by them, but this is a really cheap and quality product in my opinion. Pea protein isolate has been shown to be almost as successful at building muscle as something like whey, which is conventional in bodybuilding. But pea protein, you can also use any other vegan protein that you like. I would say that unflavored is probably better, but if you're gonna use flavored, it'll probably be just fine as well. And then also powdered peanut butter, it's kind of like another protein powder. Um, you could use that if you want. It's a little bit cheaper and a little more accessible in stores. And then over here we have chocolate chips, of course, chocolate chip pancakes, everyone loves those. You can put chocolate chips as many or as little as you want. And then this one's interesting, a little bit of dried lemon zest. Sarah's family lives in Georgia and they send us over some um, fruit goods, some jams that they make, some lemon zest because they had a ton of lemons and if you just sprinkle a little bit of this definitely don't be heavy-handed with the lemon zest but um, it'll add a, another layer of complexity to the, flavor, to the flavor profile and it will be really good if you have that and then the last thing here we have some bananas we just use bananas to demonstrate a greater fruit idea if you want to put fruit in your pancakes of course everyone knows about banana pancakes or about blueberry pancakes you can use fruit you can put it in the batter if you want we're probably not going to do that today but if you want to do that, it's definitely going to be great. Alright guys, so I'm going to unroll these right now, they should be dry, it's been a while. We're just going to take these off the towel and then we're going to put them on the skillet.
Alright guys, so we finished up cooking. Here is the final product. We actually don't have a table to eat at right now, so I'm using this little table here. I'm sitting on my meditation cushion by the window and I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful food. Um, on my potatoes, I do like to put a little Cholula. The lime Cholula is a little better in my opinion, but this stuff is still amazing. And then also, just some regular black pepper. And we already put a little salt when we were cooking the potatoes, so I don't need to put any more salt on there. But just for the camera, I'll do a little taste test. The compo is so good. Seriously, it's so easy, it's so delicious. And then, a little Cholula drizzle. Black pepper. <laughs> Struggles. <laughs> Also, just really good, really easy meal. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me, please subscribe. I will be posting at least two videos per week. So I hope you'll join me on those. And thank you so much for watching again. See you in the next one.